<sighs> I sure wish I knew what snakes to breed this year. Oh, Barney. I wish I knew what snakes to breed this year. Do you have any ideas? No, you idiot. I am a dog. I'm taking that as a no. I guess it'll be a year with no good plans. Why plan during this meaningless existence? You're no help at all. <laughs> What's that up there? It looks like it's about to fall. What in the world? Ye old book o' plans for breeding snakes in 2023. Yes, it's specific. Don't ask questions. Barney, this is exactly what we need. Unhand me immediately. But who would send such a perfect timely gift? To Lucas, hope this helps. Love always, Sigourney Weaver. Wow, thanks Sigourney. I'm Sigourney Weaver. Thank you for joining me. You know, you don't get anywhere in this world by waiting for what you want to come to you. What's going on, everybody? My name is Lucas. Welcome back to another video on the Centralian Exotics YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be going over my plans for the 2023-2024 breeding season. The holidays are coming. That means it's time to start thinking about which snakes we're going to breed and how we're gonna do so. Things like limiting food before a cool down, planning when to cool down, all of those things become important right now. Also making sure that the snakes I'm going to breed have had plenty of food so that they have an adequate body condition to breed successfully. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the pairs that we're going to be running here this year. Kicking things off in Aspidites land, I am going to be pairing up black-headed pythons again this season. This is Demi. I've raised her up since she was a fresh little neonate back in 2019. She is my, quote, Eastern or Northern Territory looking black-headed python. Very, very beautiful. Demi actually did lay a clutch of eggs last year successfully, but unfortunately I was on tour uh, with my band and I missed them. And so the eggs dried out in the cage, but we know that she can do it. And I have been feeding her back up so that she can try again this year. And Demi's mate will be... None other than the man himself. Of course, this is Sirius. My very, very first black-headed python many years ago. Uh, this male was the sire of the clutch that I missed out on last year, and he is always one of my favorite animals. So fingers crossed for more babies from Sirius. And then next for the blackheads, there's a whole series of Western pairings. They're gonna have the same male, so I'll show you the male first, and then I'll show you the girls. And there he is. This, of course, is old Greg, my 21, going on 22, maybe already 22 year old. Western black-headed python. Uh, the westerns that I have are all a little bit more sketchy. Uh, they will bite, so that's why you'll see me doing some dances. He is a big old boy, and he was the father to my two baby western black-headed pythons that made it a couple seasons ago. So this male will be paired up with the following. First up, this is of course Bailey. She is in shed right now, so I'm not gonna mess with her too much. But dang, I mean, look how good she looks even when she is in shed. This is a 2017 Western black-headed python. She was the mother of my babies in 2022. Fingers crossed for a repeat performance with Bailey. And this girl is the other really old black-headed python. This 22-year-old girl is old Curly Jefferson. She's actually old Greg's sister. Yeah, 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 I know, not ideal. We don't have that much to choose from for Western Blackheads in the US. My good friend Dan Vermilia was generous enough to send me this snake that he has cared for for the past couple decades. And while it's been a few years since she laid a clutch, I definitely want to give it a try and see if this old snake can still get the job done. Old Curly Jefferson. On to Woma land. It is a land of bites and teeth. First, the males. As you can see, I don't want to touch him, but this is Bozo. 
He is absolutely my most well-known and most orange, gorgeous, crazy looking Walma Python. He sired two clutches for me last year and he will be going again for the repeat performance for at least a couple clutches this year, but he's not very nice. And the other male, this 2014 Barry Miller line Woma Python. I call him Ben. He has some really gorgeous strawberry red tones right down his back that I was really happy to see did translate into the offspring last year. He sired two clutches for me last year as well. So a bit of a different look from Mr. Bozo, but still a really, really cool looking Woma Python. And so I think I will give Ben the chance to sire maybe one clutch this year. What a cute little murderer. Bit his own tail when I was putting him away. And now for the ladies. First up we have Miss Omega. This is a Woma Python that I got from my friend Casey Schultz, Zion Hill Exotics. She laid a beautiful, perfect clutch of eggs for me last year with Ben as the sire. So I think I'm gonna let her and Bozo have a shot at it this year. Really beautiful, light yellow colored Woma. Not a ton of orange, but I really do like her base colors. And some really interesting babies popped out from the pairing last year. And then we have Misty who is also a 2014 Barry Miller line Woma. Now her babies last year with Bozo were some of the prettiest Woma babies that I produced. So I'm gonna repeat that pairing because I didn't keep enough of them and I want more. Uh, she has some great orange tones, especially for her age. She's holding onto her color really well. Womas are a species that can kind of dull out as they get older. So somebody that's almost 10 years old and still looking this good, is a nice specimen. Misty, misty, misty. And finally for next year's Womas, we have Louise. This is a 2011 Barry Miller line Woma. And this snake, of course, is pretty dang old, but still holding on to some really beautiful yellow coloration. And I think this will be who gets paired with Ben. I love Womas. They like to bite, but they are still really fun to have. <laughs> On to less murderous critters, uh, the Brettles pythons. This season, I am going to be pairing Miss Gwyneth. Unfortunately, she is deep in shed at the moment, but this is a 100% full blood hypo het for stonewashed. She is a 2009 that was imported by Nick Mutton and she was the founding hypo in the United States. All hypo brittles come from Miss Gwyneth. And she is very colorful when she's not in shit. And Gwyneth is going to be paired up with none other than Mr. Chris Martin. This is a 2018 100% hypo melanistic stonewashed brittles male. This is one of those fun Nick Mutton Lucas joint projects. Uh, so if I'm successful in breeding these, half will be for me and half will be for the mutton man. Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. And it was all brettles. Next up, we have the Poplin Carpet Pythons. This is going to be my very first season trying to breed the Poplin Carpets. This is my male. I got this snake uh, from Riley Jimison. It is a farm hatched import from Dan Maliri. And of course, that's one of the coolest parts about working with the Papuan carpet pythons is it's the only carpet that we can actually get new blood. So all that stuff about pairing siblings, mothers, daughters, sons from earlier, not as much of a problem with these beauties. And I'm really excited. Uh, he has some really great coloration, beautiful flames, and a little bit of a dorsal stripe too. Fingers crossed for Papuans this season. There is his girlfriend. She is about to shed. She's been in shed for a while, but her name is Brenda. She also has some really cool spider webby dorsal striping down her back and some great color as well. I'm excited to hopefully produce Papuan carpets. Well, it looks like that's pretty much all Miss Sigourney Weaver had planned for us this year. There are a couple other pairings under the maybe category that I'm still on the fence about whether I'm gonna try, but those are the sure thing 
pairings for this season. So thank you very much for joining me during this video. If you did make it this far, I appreciate you very much. Please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I would really love to get the channel over a thousand subscribers. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. Let me know which pairing you're most excited about for this season. Oh, I'm just trying to drive up engagement. Comment on my thing. I need you to help me with the algorithm. Sigourney Weaver would want you to. <laughs> I started this business because I saw a growth market. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll catch you in the next one.